All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and it is time for a channel update because one, I haven't done one in a long time, and two, I haven't been on here very often in the last little while, and I kind of want to kick this off by getting back into the groove by doing this and giving you an all an idea of what I have planned for the next little while. So, um, normally, I watch a lot more movies in theaters and I haven't done that too much this year or if I did watch something sometimes I wouldn't review it right away uh, and then I just didn't, didn't end up doing the review. I'm going to try to get better at that so I'm trying my best to keep up to date with if I see a movie in theaters I will let you all know with a review. Uh, I definitely will be checking out Star Wars Rogue One uh, next month in the month of December. Might watch a few others in December but I'm not really sure. January there's a few Oscar movies that I'm probably going to check out. Uh, if I can check out Oscar movies, I will definitely review them um, because those are generally my favorite movies. And 2016 really hasn't been that great of a year for movies, I find. I haven't seen everything uh, by, by any means, but for what I've seen, the, the best movies are the comic book ones. Um, Deadpool, Civil War, and Doctor Strange were, are my favorite movies this year. Um, and I, I, I have to figure, like, watch them all over again to see which one I prefer the most. Uh, but yeah, like outside of the comic book films, there's really been nothing that's really blown me away. I liked Sully, um, Deepwater Horizon, even Deepwater Horizon. I, 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 yeah, it's not been a great year for films yet, in my opinion. I felt that every other year has been much better. Uh, but anyway, we'll see how that goes with the new Oscar movies that are coming out slowly. Uh, so anyway, uh, I will eventually be doing a 2016 best of films, <laughs> funnily enough. Uh, at the end of 2017, or at the end of uh, 2016, probably, probably closer in like January, just because I know that there's a lot of other stuff that do come out in theaters at that time, and I, I kind of want to watch those before I say these are my best films for 2016. Um, I, I would, my, I'd love to be able to do December 31st, but not every movie comes out by that point. So anyway, that I'll be doing. I'll also be doing um, a Blu-ray collection, entire, entire, in its entirety, uh, I haven't done, I've only done one video like that back in 2013, how I started this channel. And I really want to do an updated one because then you, oh, basically eliminates me doing from the, the small Blu-ray pickups that I've been doing. Uh, because I haven't really picked up a lot in the last year. I really haven't. Uh, so that way by doing the entire collection, everything will be caught up and anything that I pick up from then on will be done in pickups until I do my next collection update or co entire collection. Uh, so that's my plan for that. Because I haven't been doing pickups, I want to do something else because I've been watching a lot of movies at home instead lately. Uh, one of them is, uh, one of the reasons is because uh, I have a new girlfriend and she hasn't seen a lot of movies at all. I'm talking about like movies that almost everybody should have seen, um, like big movies. Like she hadn't, before me, she hadn't seen Star Wars, Jurassic Park, Jaws, um, Lord of the Rings, um, you know, just a, most of the Marvel movies. The Dark Knight series. Uh, there's so much. But the thing is that she really enjoys, for the most part, the same films that I do. Once in a while, it's, 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 it's like, I love a film and she really dislikes it or the opposite. But for the most part, we generally like the same films. So that's been really fun introducing her to, you know, movies that are must-see uh, in everybody's opinion. Uh, but also in, in something that, you know, is, is, is just special to me. And seeing her really like that film. So that's been really fun. And what I want to do with this is have uh, what I've been watching recently. So it'll just be movies that I've been watching at home that have not to do with anything with theaters or even pickups. There's a few of them that are actually pickups. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do two parts uh, for what we've been watching in the last few months since we started dating, uh, which because I think there's like 70 movies or something like that. I mean, some of them are, have been in theaters. But anyway, um, so yeah, about 70 films um, that I'll split up into two films and then after, or two videos. And then afterwards, I'll just do like a new update on that every two to four weeks. Because we watch maybe five to ten movies a month, give, give or take, depending on what's going on. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. Uh, it just depends on if we go out or not, uh, or if we stay inside, depending on what we do while we're inside too. Because uh, we do play video games. And then we, this summer, we spend a lot of time like outside. Um, so, and uh, recently, it's just been so busy and so many other events that we had to go to that some were fun like weddings but we've also gone to a few funerals like three in the past month it's it's it takes a toll on a person anyway <laughs> unrelated to this uh but that's pretty much it that, that i want to be doing so what i've been watching recently uh more movie reviews 
um, for stuff in theaters, uh, best of 2016, and also an entire Blu-ray collection, which I'm really excited to do, but I know that that movie is, or that video is going to be like an hour long or something like that. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, you've all been bearded in. I'll catch you all next time. Beardage.